from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A policy by Florida educators sets student goals in math and reading based on their race. By next year, Florida's Department of Education wants 90 percent of its Asian students to be reading at or above grade level, compared to 88 percent of white students, 81 percent of Hispanic pupils, and 74 percent of African American children. Translation: Florida educators are racist. Katy Perry is your next American Idol judge. So there's a reason not to watch. David Hasselhoff's daughter was arrested over the weekend for driving under the influence after she lost consciousness in the driver's seat of her car. A police officer found Haley Hasselhoff passed out at the wheel of her Mercedes-Benz on a Los Angeles freeway Saturday morning. <sighs> you know, it's always a heartwarming feeling when you hear a child following in the footsteps of a parent, isn't it? Disgraced televangelist Jim Baker says the spirit of the Antichrist is alive and well and living inside people who dare to mock President Trump. Baker now sells survivalist food and gear to doomsday preppers on his Jim Baker show. Hey, you know, I have never seen Jim Baker and Alex Jones in the same place. Are we sure they're not the same person? Nigerian pastor Jonathan Mithawa was trying to show his congregation how Jesus walked on water by crossing what is locally known as Crocodile River on foot. Unfortunately, during the demonstration, he was promptly killed and eaten by three crocodiles in front of everyone. Eyewitness Deacon Nikosi told local reporters, we still don't understand how this happened because he fasted and prayed the whole week. Okay, well, uh, first, uh, Jesus had the sense to not walk on crocodile-infested waters. Second, your pastor is not Jesus. Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It's free, and everybody who subscribes is automatically entered into monthly drawings for prizes. For this month, May 2017, I'm giving away a free Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo, and you can sign up for the Marler Sheet free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A 101-year-old man has set a world record for oldest skydiver according to the British company Skydive Buzz. Bryson William Vernon Hayes He made a tandem jump at the age of 101 years and 38 days. Hayes is a D-Day veteran who was raising money for the Royal British Legion with his jump. You know, at that advanced of an age, though, I'd be afraid that being that high up, God might just go ahead and take me to heaven to avoid making the full trip. France has rejected a third gender category. France's highest court last week rejected the notion of a neutral gender. The ruling upheld a lower court's decision denying a French citizen with a sex development disorder the right to use neutral as an official gender. Hey, who knew France would be the sane ones? I mean, they eat snails. On purpose. Kimberly Guilfoyle of Fox News says she's in talks to become the Trump administration's next press secretary. Gilfoyle says, I'm a patriot and it would be an honor to serve the country. I think it'd be a fascinating job, it's a challenging job, and you need someone really determined and focused, a great communicator in there with deep knowledge to be able to handle that position. Okay, I mean, that's, uh, that's fine, Kimmy, but I wouldn't burn any bridges at Fox News just yet. I mean, you, you might need to ask for your job back once you, too, are inevitably fired from The Apprentice White House Edition. In Murraysville, Pennsylvania, police say 58-year-old Richard Ward spent Sunday night beating his 87-year-old mother and 64-year-old sister with a cane. This apparently after the two woke him up from a drunken slumber in his vehicle. He now faces charges including aggravated assault and public drunkenness. Murraysville police say he was parked outside his mother's home when Linda Ward and her mother Margaret tried to wake him up around 9 p.m. Sunday night. Police say he woke up angrily and took a cane from his sister before knocking her down and beating her and their mother with it. Witnesses say Ward refused to stop the beating until he was restrained by others until police arrived. Both women were treated at a local hospital. Oh yeah, and did you catch this all happened on Sunday? You know, Mother's Day? Yeah, happy Mother's Day, Mom! Right now, you can get a free copy of the book None Other by John MacArthur by visiting MarlarHouse.com slash free stuff. Grow deeper in your knowledge of the one true God. Get the free book right now at MarlarHouse.com slash free stuff or click the free stuff tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. 
Offer expires June 2nd. Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin celebrated Apple's 13th birthday together as a family. Uh, that, that's uh, Apple, their, their daughter, you know, the one with the stupid name, not the multi-billion dollar tech company. Speaking of Apple, the corporation is reportedly working on an iCar. You know, I'll bet everything is proprietary with the iCar, too. You'll, you'll have to go to some Apple gas station to fuel up because they'll have the only gas pump nozzles that'll plug into your eye tank. Shane Allen Schindler has denied that he tried to murder a mannequin in an empty building using a hammer. Now, as weird as that sounds, there is a little more to it. The mannequin was actually left by police as a decoy close to the scene in Las Vegas, where two homeless men were murdered while they slept. And so far, Schindler has not been charged for the actual murders, only for the attempted murder of the mannequin. On February 22nd, after police spotted him on surveillance cameras creeping up on the mannequin, they saw him pull a hood over his head and he used a two-handed grip to pummel the blanket-covered head of the decoy with a four-pound ball-peen hammer. Schindler's story is he knew it was a mannequin all along. Right. Well, you know, I, I, that makes perfect sense, sure. I mean, because we all know how annoying mannequins can be and how they all deserve a horrible, gruesome death. Hackers are said to be holding the upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean movie hostage, threatening to release it online if Disney doesn't pay up. I, you know, honestly, I, I'm not going to be paying up to see it regardless. Hillary Clinton has launched a new political group, Onward Together, to combat Donald Trump. Okay, now she, she does realize that if she somehow manages to get Trump kicked out of office, she still doesn't become president, right? The wave of ransomware and malware continues. Be very careful about what you click on when it comes to your email and social media. There is some nasty stuff out there right now. Oh, by the way, the malware was supposedly stolen from the NSA. Yeah, nice to know our own government's creating stuff like this, isn't it? The Marler House mobile app is now available, and it's free. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, watch Marler House YouTube videos, check out the t-shirts, mugs, and audiobooks, along with other stuff in the Marler House store, see what's in my blog, and a whole lot more. It's all in one app, and it's absolutely free for iOS and Android users, and you can download it right now at MarlerHouse.com slash mobile, or just click on the mobile tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!